my name is Kristen and I'm a computer forensic examiner here in the digital forensics unit of the St. Louis County Police Department Crime Lab. Here in digital forensics, we investigate any crime that has a digital element. That can be anything from a computer to a cell phone to a variety of other devices. It's estimated that at least 90% of all crimes have a digital element and here in our unit, we work over a thousand pieces of digital evidence per year. So let's head on inside and take a look at what we do. For our first discipline here in the lab, we have surveillance video and router poles. For these, we often respond to homes and businesses in order to pull video footage or router information that's pertinent to an investigation. Because of this, we're the only civilian unit in the entire police department that has an on-call rotation that's 365 days a year, 24 seven. For routers specifically, we connect our computers directly to the router itself in order to extract the data that is pertinent to the investigation. So moving on to mobile device forensics, when we first get a cell phone in our lab, we want to keep it from connecting to the outside cellular network, and we do so through the use of Faraday bags or the Faraday room that we have here in our lab. Our next goal would be to extract the data that's needed for the investigation from the phone itself. And the success of this usually depends on things such as the make and model of the phone, as well as the operating system that it's running. Once we've obtained an extraction from a mobile device, we then take steps to ensure that the copy of the data is accurate. We then move on to our analysis. During analysis, we look for things such as pictures, text messages, location data, and countless other things, kind of dependent on what the case officer has requested us to look for that's pertinent to the investigation. For the computer discipline in our lab, we examine a variety of devices to include desktop computers, laptops, external hard drives, and thumb drives, just to name a few. The next step in the process would be to create a forensic image or a bit-for-bit -bit copy of the data extracted from the device. We then move on to the analysis portion based on the needs of the case officer, which often includes looking for things such as photos, videos, or emails. Historically, many of the computers that we work have been for our Internet Crimes Against Children cases. We directly support our Special Investigations Unit with their Internet Crimes Against Children cases, and we report our findings directly to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Due to the disturbing nature of these cases, mental health is a top priority in our unit, and we try our best to support our examiners in this way. One of the biggest challenges in our unit is keeping up with the rapidly changing technology. For instance, anytime your phone gets an update, our job changes. Thanks for visiting us today. If you'd like to be a computer forensic examiner in our unit, you don't necessarily have to have a college degree, but one in a computer-related field is preferred. In your first two years of employment, you'll be required to obtain the Computer Forensic Certified Examiner Certification, as well as undergo a variety of hands-on, on-the-job training. Overall, this is a growing and exciting field, and it's definitely the future of criminal investigations.